Welcome skiers and riders to Whiteout, the Denver Gazette's weekly report of powder forecasts, snow news, and other events happening in the Colorado high country. I'm your host, Jonathan Ingram. Today we'll be talking tales from the 2003 Colorado blizzard, how fly is Schifrin's number 87 hat, plus where to ski St. Patrick's Day powder. Friday, St. Patrick's Day, 2003, marks the starting day of the Colorado blizzard of 2003. 20 years ago, an upslope storm parked itself over northern New Mexico and churned for three days, laying down 32 inches in Denver, 40 inches in Aurora, and 77 inches in Winter Park. Little did I, or anybody for that matter, know the largest snowstorm of the month of March ever produced in Denver's history was taking shape. Coming back from skiing at Copper Mountain, I vividly remember seeing low-level clouds hugging and wisping the ponderosa pines of the slopes above Georgetown, thinking a storm is brewing. I had to make a choice. Do I drive over Berthoud Pass and find cheap lodging in Winter Park, or simply continue down to Fort Collins and party with friends back home? I chose wrong. I-70 closed for part of the week, US-40 over Berthoud Pass was shut down, and the idea of skiing was DOA. But I also did have four days of vacation to work with, so maybe skiing later in the week was possible. I called in sick to work Friday since my vacation days ran out and made plans with my friend Steven to stay in Denver Thursday night. Shortly after 9.30 Friday, we pulled into the Corona lot at Mary Jane. I don't recall every run that day, and there were many. But 40 inches of dense snow was truly amazing. No turning was allowed. The fear being if you stopped, you'd never get going again. We saw that the snowcats had groomed part of the trail further down, leaving a kicker built up into the dog patch on the lower half of Pioneer Express Trail. Like children without a care in the world, we just sent it. To this day, I've never jumped off any cliff, cornice, or kicker without that little of care as I did into that March powder. And now onto the forecast. Consider yourself lucky and break out the powder boards because today and St. Patrick's Day look like powder days. Today's snow showers will be moving across the state. Northern mountains favored in the morning, southern mountains in the evening. Snow totals as of 8 a.m. Friday between 3 to 10 inches for the northern mountains and between 6 and 24 inches for the central and southern mountains. Last weekend, storm piled up snow accumulations across all resorts in the state, especially in the west central mountains. Irwin, 36 inches, and Crested Butte, 33 inches, were the big winners. Tuesday night heading into Wednesday, a second round of storminess entered the state, favoring the southern and west central mountains. Wednesday night brought a few inches to all resorts in the state to start off the second half of the storm. My weekend recommendations are for the Northern Mountains, head to Winter Park, Eldora, for the Central Mountains, Irwin, Crested Butte, Powderhorn, and Snowmass, and for the Southern Mountains, Wolf Creek, Silverton, and Telluride. And now on to the snooze, or what we like to call snow news. Happy birthday to the goat of ski racing, Michaela Schifrin, who turned 28 on Monday. On Friday morning last weekend, Schifrin won her 86th World Cup race, tying Ingemar Stenmark's record, and then Saturday she broke his record with her 87th win. All hail Michaela! Schifrin's friend, Colorado Snow Sports Hall of Famer Chris Anthony, spoke to the Denver Gazette on Monday about Schifrin and her successes. He said, We are witnessing something that is a once in a lifetime situation where you have one athlete who has been able to reach this level and continue on with the potential to leave the newly claimed record of 87 wins in the dust. He also said anything that she is doing from this time on, anytime she lands on a podium, is another record. Schifrin now has five overall World Cup titles, clinched World Cup globes in slalom and giant slalom disciplines for 2023, and became the most decorated skier ever in the World Championships after winning three medals in France in February. After her win number 87, Michaela sported a number 87 hat. Hopefully those hats make it stateside. I'd surely rock that. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Head over to denvergazette.com and gazette.com to find more stories and information about skiing and riding in Colorado. Tune in next week for another edition of Whiteout.